Hi everyone, it's Kathy here. I make videos on transformation, abundance, spirituality, and how we can navigate life more easily by looking at it through the lens of tarot. If you enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe so that you get the latest content. So today I wanted to talk about how the transformational process is a bit more like a dance than it is a linear path. So we tend to cha-cha through life taking two steps forward, one step back, one to the sides, forward again. And it's the meaning that we give to this experience that allows us to be in the moment and enjoy it as a dance or whether we get frustrated, disappointed and irritated that we're not further ahead. So why do we do this dance? Why do we have to go through it? Well, if you wanted to move forward in your life, to grow into new areas, to stretch yourself, to go for bigger dreams and desires, or simply to just have something different than you're currently experiencing, then you're going to meet some inner resistance. Your programming from your conditioning and your beliefs have given you an ego identity. And your current life situation is a result of all your past thoughts, your stories, the conclusions, your expectations, your actions, and what you currently believe is possible for you. So to make any really significant transformation for the better in your life, it means that you're going to have to make an internal change to who you're being. And that feels really threatening to the ego because it's unfamiliar, it's unsafe. And the ego's job is to keep you safely in the known and the predictable. Even if it's uncomfortable, and even if your conscious mind, as well as your heart and soul, really wants what it wants. So transformation is often a bit of a dance because the ego will try its best to convince you to stay where you are and maybe even to take a step back or to it will distract you and take you over in this direction where something much more attractive uh, is sort of kind of try tempting you basically just to keep you from, from going into that unknown territory even when your heart and soul are wanting you to move ahead. Typically, especially if it's a big juicy goal, your head will fill with doubts and confusion. The distractions will come up. You might take too much on. That will lead to overwhelm or it might lead to illness in some way. And that will make you want to put the brakes on. Or maybe unexpected life challenges will appear all of a sudden, which will kind of take you off the course that you were set on and that had previously felt right. When we eventually pause and take stock of where we're at and of our progress, it can feel really frustrating and disappointing or um, irritating or even hopeless that we're not further ahead. The self-criticism then kicks in, the negative head talk. Why, why doesn't anything work for me? I'm so rubbish at this. It's never going to work out. I'm not good enough. I don't know what to do. I can't do it. It's too hard. You know, all of those things. We all go through it. Often there is seemingly really valid evidence showing up in your experience that might give you a reason to give up on your goal. But that too is just the ego trying to sabotage you so that you stay in your comfort zone and you don't change. So really these thoughts are just lies and stories and misperceptions that were usually created by a child aged part of us like way back that has been running consistently in the background unconsciously throughout our lives. And the thing is that if you want to create change, you have to let these go because if you continue to keep them running, they will continue to create the same experiences. But that the thing is those were, they really were lies. They weren't true then and they're not true now. You are not just a small human in a body separate from everything and everyone who can only make change happen with your own effort and willpower. You are a spiritual being who has full connection to the unlimited creative power of the universe and you are having a human experience and you can harness this power of the universe to consciously co-create you have to remember to ask for what you want and you have to believe that it's possible for you and you have to hold focus and stay the course so that no matter how long it takes or whatever fears or blocks show up you're willing to move through them 
And if you can let go of the resistance to what comes up, because it will be something that feels really real and it will feel uncomfortable, painful, irritating, frightening, all of these things that come up, we have to move through them. We have to allow them to be felt, to be experienced and not buy into them. And instead just surrender to this process because it's it's the stuff that's pushed down inside of us that is coming up to be released so that you can let it go. And as you do that, your vibration rises, you let go of these patterns and stories and you become a different person because you're no longer the person that believed those things. Once you're on the other side of it, it has no power over you. And if you can let go of resistance to what's coming up that you don't like or you don't want and instead surrender and allow and see and embrace all those challenging things as gifts from the universe from an intelligent universe that knows exactly how to grow you into the your potential your highest expression like it does with every living thing in nature then you'll actually begin to realize that life is actually always happening for you rather than to you you'll realize that there are no coincidences and that these things that show up seemingly out of the blue are actually like gifts from the universe that help you grow into who you're here to be and when you do that it moves you actually closer to your joy and although it doesn't Obviously, it doesn't feel like that at the time. Obviously, in the time, it feels like hell. But if you can catch it and remember, oh, this is just part of the process. It's uncomfortable. It's not going to last forever. I'm going to stay focused on where I want to get to. I'm going to focus on my visions and dreams and goals and just know that this is like a, an energy that's moving up and out and through that's based on old patterns, old conditioning, old beliefs, um, that no longer serve you if you can keep your focus on where you want to go and you don't buy into any of the head talk that will move out and it can move out really quickly sometimes it takes some time however all of these inner distractions and reactions and this inner experience that you're ex that you're going through as you move through this this sticky messy middle be between where you were and where you want to be, that noise in your head is actually what stops you moving forward. It stops you being able to hear the one clear thing that you need to do that will take you in the direction that you want to go to, that your higher self knows is exactly right for you. Those fear thoughts, they shout much more loudly than the whispers of your higher self. And this is one of the reasons that tarot is really, really helpful. Tarot coaching can be amazing because not only will you be reminded of who you are as an infinite being, powerful creator, the cards help, really help you to kind of see what is in, um, that's really aligned, that is really true and right for you. And as you see them there in front of you, you'll actually get a, a physical sensation of what of what's true they also show you where influences are coming in from other people from other situations that you actually don't need to even give any attention to or if you do give them attention it's to move out of of that field of influence and it can also show you where you might be taking um, stuff on from other people that you thought was yours to own. And when you can see that it's not actually anything to do with you and that you've just taken it on uh, unconsciously, you can then let that go, hand it over. And the energy that you've been using to hold that, you can then put into creating your life. And so the cards are fantastic for giving all this guidance that will move you back into alignment with your highest and best path. So if you'd like to find out more about transformational tarot coaching, do send me a, a DM or just check out the link in my bio. And if you've been doing a bit of a cha-cha lately and you haven't been enjoying the dance, then do let me know if what I've shared to here today in this video makes sense. And what you're going to do to make some changes perhaps so that's it from me today i will see you next time